Let us meet two more victims of the vaccine. Claire Hibbs, you have seen on our show before, and Leanne Tomlin, you have not. Leanne, who is that uh, with you there? This is my stepmom, Lucy Tabra. And Lucy lived in Leicester and took the vaccine. Yep. And then what happened? She had the vaccine in March last year. Um, it was about 10 days after she started to get a bit of a headache. Um, she went to the doctors and they told her that it, it was kidney stones because she had stomach pains. They said, it's kidney stones. They sent her home with some painkillers. Um, a, a day or two later, my dad came home from work after a night shift and she could barely stand up. Uh, I FaceTimed her and, and she showed me her gums. They were turning black. Oh. Um, obviously, we knew that something wasn't right and my dad rushed her to the, our local hospital. Uh, where he wasn't allowed to go in with her because of COVID restrictions. Um, that was the last time that he'd seen her properly. Uh, yeah, um, she was there for about 10 days, eight, eight, eight days, and then she got to, to another hospital for um, a craniectomy where they relieved yeah. pressure on the brain and they couldn't do anything to save her. And all this time she was alone yeah. because of the COVID restrictions yeah. so nobody could see her. Yeah. Now... You have a much, well, I shouldn't say that, it's a bit ungallant, but you have a younger sibling. Yeah, he's six years old, Orson. A, six, yeah. a six-year-old boy who lost his yeah. mum. And, and how, how old was Lucy? 47. 47. Yeah. Do you, uh, are, are you resentful of the fact that the, her initial trip to hospital, they just sloughed her off and sent her home? Yeah, I'm really angry about it. She spent her last 10 days of her life alone and I can only imagine absolutely terrified and scared and didn't understand what was going on. We, we spoke to her a few times over FaceTime, but she couldn't really hold the phone up herself and now she used to sit with her. Um, I remember my dad ringing me, I think it was on the, the Wednesday. He rang me and said that he'd spoke to her and... It was as if she was saying goodbye. She knew something wasn't right. And that was, I think that was the last time that we actually, that he spoke to her at all. I think on the, the Wednesday night was, or the Thursday was when she had the major stroke and she never woke up from that. It's a terrible thing for your poor six-year-old brother who they don't understand death at that age. Mm -hmm. They only feel the absence. It's... They can't quite comprehend forever and eternity and, and the fact that his mum isn't, uh, isn't coming home. It's a terrible business. But, Claire, I, I follow you on Twitter. You are a feisty tweeter, <laughs> in part because you're regularly insulted by people who don't think this is a real phenomenon. Yeah. And, and, in fact, if it weren't for those of you who do tweet, um, there would be hundreds of thousands, millions around the world living in isolation thinking this is just happening to me, it's a freak one-off. In fact, because of people like you tweeting about it and Leanne tweeting about it, we understand that it's a global phenomenon. Yeah, the, I, I wasn't on Twitter before this happened. Mm. Um, I didn't even know how to use Twitter. I didn't, mm. I didn't understand it at all. I was just um, Facebook. I don't understand Instagram. Mm. I'm... Mm. I'm I just don't get it. Well, you understand it now because <laughs> yeah. they're out there insulting you, basically. Yeah. I mean, you are astonished that even when you say, I'm, I'm injured by this, uh, when Leanne says, you know, I've got a grieving six-year-old brother, these, these kind of uh, cyber warriors still insist on kind of trashing they're you horrible. all the time. They're, they're, all, they're just horrible people. They, the, the, some of the comments, I think we had one yesterday, was it, on, on one of our posts? We, we had one yesterday, just, um, and it, it literally just said fake news. And it, it was advertising this. Yeah. And they just replied fake news and, and, and sort of tagging us into their little army of people that, that insult us. And... Um, Twitter is our only, or was up until us coming onto GB News, Twitter was our only platform to actually get any recognition or get heard. Um, Facebook just, they just cancel everything. They, mm. they delete everything. And, and we, we had a conversation the other day in, in the VIP group. Um, and we actually said, if it wasn't for Twitter, nobody would know about 
these deaths or these injuries because it's the only place it's actually spoken about. So because of the media and, and the ignorance and the way we're completely censored, if it wasn't for Twitter or, or anybody that doesn't go on Twitter, mm. it's... They don't know about well, it. Well, no, I, uh, since we did the first interviews with Vicky and Charlotte all those weeks ago, I was astonished at the number of emails we got from people who, who aren't on Twitter. Mm -hmm. and, and so they thought, oh, well, I was just told my injury was a freak one-off. Yeah. It's one in 30 million. And uh, now I realize there's all these other people out there.